Hey everyone, welcome back to JS Cafe. And in this video, we are going to solve the question longest common substring. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. So, in this question, uh, you will be given uh, two strings, which is uh, str1 and str2. And the goal is to print out the length of the maximum common uh, substring. So the uh, there there can be various common substrings like J is a common substring, A is a common substring, J A V is a common substring in str one and str two. But uh, the longest uh, substring is J A V A Java, and the length of this substring is four. So the output of this example would be four in this case. So we are going to solve this problem using dynamic programming and we'll create the DP table uh, of the size uh, str length str1 dot length plus one and str length str2 dot length plus one and the uh, we'll place the strings uh, like this like uh, we'll have one extra row and one extra column and apart from it we'll uh, place our uh, strings over here okay so the idea is that we will uh, let's suppose keep pointers in str1 and str2 and the characters at that particular uh, pointers are matching so we will have one uh, common substring which is for sure and let's suppose our pointer was at this position and this position and we see that the a's a, a and a are matching so we have one common substring but we also have to make a uh, look that in the previous uh, pointers which is j for both str1 and str2 was there any common uh, substring and if there was any common substring then what was the maximum uh, uh, maximum length which we had so which is which is one in this case also so the uh, uh, the dp of uh, i comma j for this particular pointer would be one plus one two okay and we'll do the same for rest of the characters for each strings so uh, this is the algorithm which algorithm or the logic which we are going to use is that str of i minus 1 equals to str of j minus 1 then dp of i comma j would be 1 plus of the uh, previous uh, portion of that particular strings okay i minus 1 and j minus 1 so uh, let's do this okay so let's start filling the dp table so we will fill the uh, zeroth uh, row and the zeroth uh, column as zeros because we really don't we really don't have any characters to match and we'll start off by uh, one th index and in this case we see that j and j are matching so we have one uh, substring and in we see that previous to these two pointers was zero and zero and there was no common substring so the output in this case is uh, 1 plus 0 is 1 okay next we move forward we match j with a we see that uh, j and a are not matching so there is no common substring so the length in this case is 0 and so is the case with other uh, column uh, cells as well 0 0 0 0 and 0 because j is not matching to any of them next we move to the next row we have a a and j they are not matching so it is zero a and a are matching so we have one substring now we have to look uh, backwards was there any matching substring we move backward and we saw that j and j were matching and the value at that particular dp table was one denoting that the, the length of the substring was one in that case so the uh, uh, the value in this case would be dp of 2 comma 2 would be uh, 1 plus 1 2 now we match a with v not matching so 0 a and a is matching so 1 plus 0 is here 1 then followed by zeros because a is not matching to any of these uh, characters next we move forward v and j not matching 0 v and a not matching 0 v and v matching so the value here would be 1 plus 2 3 and v and a not matching and followed by the zeros because v is not matching to any of the characters next we move to a a and j not matching 0 a and a matching 1 plus 0 1 a and v not matching 0 a and a match so here would be 1 plus 3 4 and 
a and s not matching not matching not matching 0 0 and 0 so we in th this is how we fill the dp table and our answer lies uh, in this matrix only the maximum value which 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 you would see in this matrix would be our answer uh, we see that the maximum value in this matrix is 4 and which is our answer so instead you you can like iterate uh, over this matrix again to find a maximum value or during the uh, computation of the value you can create a maximum length variable and keep updating that variable whenever you find a value greater than the previous one and in this case you'll find the value and you can return it so this was the overall uh, this was the overall logic uh, behind this question now let's have a look uh, at the uh, code okay in the code we are um, uh, declaring a function lcslen which is accepting str1 and str2 next we compute the length of the uh, strings str1 str2 we are storing in n1 and n2 we are creating a db table next we are creating a db table which is a 2d array of size n plus 1 and n n1 plus 1 and n2 plus 1 next we are uh, initialize a max length variable with value 0 and we are iterating over this matrix okay so we are uh, we have a i pointer starting from i till n1 and j from 1 to n2 okay and we see that if str of i minus 1 or str of j minus 1 i minus 1 j minus 1 is just to map the uh, index at the strings and we see that if the uh, these uh, characters are matching then dp of i comma j at that particular i and j position the value would be 1 plus dp of i minus 1 and dp of j minus 1 fair enough and we are updating the max length that if the value obtained in this compu computation is greater than the previous value then update the max length and return it so the uh, this was the solution and the time complexity of this is uh, n1 big o of n1 cross n2 where n1 is the uh, length of str1 and n2 is the length of the str2 and the similar is the space complexity so this was all in this uh, video see you in the next one